I had this all set up already. There we go. Oh, hold on, I gotta unmute. What is it capturing on my end? Does anybody hear anything weird coming from like double audio or anything? Because my mic's saying it's capturing something, but I don't know what that could be. So we're going to play Oblivion. I don't know how I got this to work two days ago. I, I only vaguely remember uh, playing it. I don't know how. I remember setting it up. I vaguely remember um creating my character but i don't know <laughs> i don't know how i was able to oh i gotta turn this down for me it's so loud i don't know how i was able to um s like set up uh stream labs with it that that part blows my mind i don't know <laughs> i don't know how i did that like what the fuck <laughs> but uh, if you're here, oh, hold on, it's going to be a bitch for me to try and adjust audio because I have to shift tab in Steam and for whatever reason it doesn't like doing that. There we go. To get out. But if you were here two days ago, you'll know that we kind of played this. I think I stopped. I can't remember. But so we're just going to start over. I'll play the cutscene again. We get to watch that. It's fun. Um, I might play Pokemon Coliseum a little bit later, but I just kind of wanted to play something that I view as relaxing, and I view El uh, Oblivion to be very relaxing. So, here we go. Uh, let me know if the um, game audio is too loud or too quiet, and then I'll adjust. I was born 87 years ago. For 65 years, I've ruled as Tamriel's emperor. But for all these years, I've never been the ruler of my own dreams. I have seen the gates of oblivion, beyond which no waking eye may see. Behold, in darkness, a doom sweeps the land. This is the 27th of last seed, the year of Akatosh 433. These are the closing days of the third era and the final hours of my life. I gotta turn that down because um, I could see it uh, peaking. <laughs> but it might have been just that cutscene, so I'm actually gonna keep it because now it's fine. I'm gonna turn it up just a little bit actually. Let me know if it's too loud. You can't hear me if I'm too loud because I'm still not quite sure what's loud and what's not. <laughs> but okay, this is my favorite. Um, this is my favorite. Elder Scrolls game of all time. It was my first Elder Scrolls game that I've ever played. It was the Elder Scrolls game that broke the family the TV in the living room because I played it so much. 
Um, I, I just love this game. Um, at some point, I will mod it because I have learned how to mod this this game. It, it's a bit of a process, but it's not that hard since the, there is a video that walks you through it that is so nice. But oops, let me just close some stuff because it's telling me I'm skipping frames. So hold on. Let me just like because my computer should run this pretty fine. I mean, if it can run Skyrim, I think it can run Oblivion, and Oblivion's an old ass game. But hold on, hold on. Okay, well, let's see. I we're gonna randomize it because I'm lazy. Let me just close Discord, and that's all I can close. No? Oh yes. Okay, so I want to randomize the face because you just can't you can't make good faces in this game. They all look kind of bad. So I'm just going to randomize one till I get one that I like. Um, let's see. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, sir, you look like get stung by bees. You okay? <laughs> Honey, you okay? That one's, that one's better. I think I'll keep this one. And we're gonna do... The one thing I hate about this game is the hair options. I know you, there's mods to um, get more hair, but it just... I guess we'll stick with the main style. Uh, I hate this one. This one's fucking ugly, dude. Actually, I want to do this one. We're going to do this one, but we're going to do short. We're going to do short. Nice and short. So we have a little ponytail. You know, cute. Ah. Sir Mittens here. Oh, maybe that's what I should name him. Sir Mittens. Ooh. I think I will. Sir Mittens. There you go. Yeah! Beautiful. Uh, I think that's all I can do. I don't think I can do anything else. Well, age. We're gonna age him. We're gonna de-age him. He's a baby. Complexion? Oh. Oh, no! Uh, yeah, that one looks a bit better, I guess. <laughs> he still like got stung by bees. Uh, 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 do I? Yes, I would like to be a Khajiit. Always start Khajiit. Sir Mittens. <laughs> uh, real quick though. Oops, I need to make sure all subtitles are on. He's, he looks terrifying. Wow, well, everybody, everybody in this game looks terrifying. Um, I'm gonna do audio. I'm gonna turn up the music volume. Um, because I can't hear it very much. Just let me know if it's too loud on your end. Uh, gameplay. Okay, everything's on. Alright, so you can't play with a controller on this, and I'm, I gotta relearn. Um, <laughs> I have to relearn everything. Kitty, kitty. That's it. There's a rat in my cell. Kajit. A fat, tasty rat. Does the kitty want it? Is the kitty hung? You'd better t I can't hear you either. I'm turning your voice up. All the way. I'm gonna turn that music down just a titch because it's actually loud on my end. I think the, I think the audio is good. Okay. Oh no. Oops. Oops. Okay. All right. Take whatever you can get in here, Kajit. They don't feed the new prisoners. Didn't you know that? First, they starve. Then, they beat you. Then, if you're lucky, they kill you. That's right. You're going to die in here. Hey, you hear that? The guards are coming. For, For you. <laughs> this uh, uh, specific song was my ringtone 
for the longest time in high school. Yeah. I there's uh, I don't know. I loved it. We don't know that sire. The messenger only said they were attacked. No, they're dead. I know it. I'm My job right now Patrick is to get Stewart. you to safety. What's this prisoner doing here? This cell is supposed to be off limits. Usual mix up with the watch. I never mind. Get that gate open. Stand back, prisoner. We won't hesitate okay. to kill you if you get in our way. You, prisoner, stand aside. Uh, Over by the window. Stay out of the way and you won't get hurt. I've played this no uh, little put, opening prisoner. scene Good. so Let's many go. times. Let's go. We're not out of this yet. I kind of sort of blast you. through it. I've, I've seen, seen you. you. Let me see your face. You are the one from my dreams. Then the stars were right. And this is the day. Gods give me strength. Uh, what's going on? Assassins attacked my sons, and I am next. My blades are leading me out of the city along a secret escape route. By chance, the entrance to that escape route leads through your cell. Uh, who are you? I am your emperor, Uriel Septim. By the grace of the gods, I serve Tamriel as her ruler. You are a citizen of Tamriel, and you too shall serve her in your own way. Sir, I'm in jail. Oh, why am I in jail? Perhaps the gods have placed you here so that we may meet. As for what you have done, it does not matter. That is not what you will be remembered for. I could have killed somebody. Um, I, I go my own way. So do we all. But what path can be avoided whose end is fixed by the almighty gods? Please, sire, we must keep moving. Hmm. Okay, sure. Better not close this one. There's no way to open it from the other side. I remember like we got... I remember I was looking way. for his, this lady's katana and I could not fucking find it. Ah, oh, awful. And I think I quit out. I think I was done. Stand uh, aside, prisoner. Can we just get out of here? Please. I wanna go adventure. This doesn't concern you. I wanna prisoner. go to the fighters guild. I wanna do that quest. The quest is so fun. I think it's fun. Close up left. Protect the Emperor. Die. I'll just let them take care of it. Cause... Protect yourself. Yeah. I'm just a prisoner. I'm not supposed to do anything. I'm here. Are you alright, sire? We're clear for now. Captain Reno? She's dead. Sorry, sire, but we have to keep moving. Okay, now I gotta find her katana. Stand aside, prisoner. I'm much more clear headed Best today. Problem ahead. I'll take that short short sword though. Don't know, but it's too late to go back now. Ooh, Don't worry, ow. sir. I, I still hurt. I still hurt. We will get you out of here. Uh, let's they see. Where is her sword? I'll is, take oh, there it is. Let's move. You stay here, prison. Don't try to follow us. I won't. I'm just kidding. Oops. Ah, uh. you rat. That was fun. Ooh, chest. I wish we get this one here. Give me that gold. Because we need some money. Because we're fucking poor and we are a prisoner. Um, I'm gonna take that. I'll take that. I'll take that. You went from really happy to, oh my god, I'm gonna die pretty quickly in the stream. I, dude, I drank half a bottle of vodka and a little bit of gin. And mistakes, man. Fucking mistakes. We're not doing that again. It was fun at first, and then I quickly, um, lost control of my impulses and it went all downhill all downhill that's okay because it kind of like reminded me that I do have um, Pokemon Coliseum and I apparently learned that I could stream Oblivion really easy so <laughs> there was that but that's okay 
Yeah, I don't care. Wait, how do I see? I think that's how I do spells. I don't think I even made it out of the sewer. I, I don't remember. Take that. Do I want... Do I want to be heavy armor or light armor? I think I want to do heavy. Even though I feel like I always go heavy, heavy, but I think there are more uh, better armor choices when you go heavy. Yeah, you get him, rat. You get him. Get him. Oh. Now you've never played Oblivion, right? You've only played Skyrim. We can do the arena. We can do the Dark Brotherhood quest line, which is like n it's a really it's a good quest line. Um, Fighters Guild quest is my favorite. My favorite quest line of like the whole game. We can also do, we can also do the main quest line and close all those oblivion gates that are just so fun to close. And I'm sure at some point I'll end up playing more events. <laughs> now that will be interesting because I get lost very easily. Come on. It's not, it's not low. It's like half. What are you talking about? Take that, I'll take that gold. I think some cheese and a cat or lettuce. Uh, tomato. Oh, some gold. I don't think I've ever, I think I've just totally bypassed this every time I've come down here. Skulls, cheese wedge, iron helmet. We don't wear helmets in this house. We don't do that. We don't need to protect our head. And now there's a rat somewhere around here. There you are. Oh, maybe you know. Every time I play this game, I always look for a sack that was like in the wall because I swear when I was a kid that there was one there and it had like a bunch of gold in it though I think that's just a mis misremembrance we have one brain cell between the two of us I think we're good without helmets I mean yeah you're right you are indeed correct let's see there is flawed ruby that I can take. Uh, I think that's it. Uh, oh, well, I'll take the healing. I didn't want that. Oh, lock picks. Yes, I know. I love how those come up and I don't read them, and then I'm like, oh shit, well, how was I supposed to hotkey stuff? Inevitably, I'm always like, oh shit, because <laughs> I didn't read anything. That's how I was when I, because I, I got Overwatch for the Switch, because it was on sale, and I wanted to buy it, because I've heard, um, we're not speaking, fuck you. I heard this, the Overwatch community on the Switch is a lot more, like, casual and relaxed, and so, and I really wanted to get into it, because I don't typically play those kinds of games, because I'm, it, it gives me anxiety, because, like, I know I won't be good at it. So I don't want to get yelled at, but I suck. So I got it on the Switch, one because I'll probably play it more often, and two because I heard the community is very relaxed. And I played my first um, 
you know, a public match with, like, other people. And it was really fun. I mean, I sucked. I sucked at it at first. Um, I still suck at it, but I, as we, as the match went on, I started getting a little bit better. I did not want that. <laughs> I just, sorry, I just noticed that when I scroll, when I scroll wheel in game, it scrolls the, <laughs> the, the, the mixer. <sighs> oh, okay. But, um, what was I saying? They sucked at it, I guess. Anyways, yeah, I, I sucked at it, but as the, the game went on, because it was like a, 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 you know, a, a round type game, I guess, where you had to capture and defend a certain spot, and it's like whoever's able to do it in two rounds wins. So I had been doing the training mode because I just wanted to get a feel for it and know how to play so uh, I was like okay you know I, I have to play an actual match because then what's the point of getting this game if I don't do that so I played it and at first I, I sucked but it was fine it was fine because like I'm not one well, I'm not competitive I'm not competitive and no one had mics so no one could yell at me and so I died a whole bunch of times. It was obviously a real match is a lot different than the training matches. But as the, you know, the first round I died a whole bunch. Because I didn't know what I was doing. Second round I got a little bit better. And we actually were able to win that one. Which I was like really happy. I'm like, oh my god, that's so cool. And then the third one, I was like, okay. You know, here's here's what I should do. You know, I don't know if this is the right way to play this character, but this is what I'm gonna do. This is easier than running out into the middle of the skirmish and getting killed on sight. So I was kinda like hang off somewhere where I could see everything. Not quite sniping, because I was like with a sh I was playing with a shotgun, a character with a shotgun. You don't snipe with a shotgun. But it was something like that. And where did her fucking body go? Look look at that rat. D he was trying to escape. He was ready to leave. He said, I'm fucking out of here. Get me the fuck get me the fuck out of here. Did her body go down there? Yeah. It did. We'll have to kill we're gonna have to kill those rats. But it was just fun. It was fun. It like, even though I sucked at it and I was dying a lot, it still was fun because I'm not competitive. And then I kept getting killed by the same guy, which I thought was so funny every time um, he killed me. No, I don't have to kill these. I'm sorry, rats. But I thought it was so funny every time he killed me because I was just like, oh shit, it's you again. Shit, can I get out of here? I think I, I was able to get a kill on him at least once. But it was fun. I mean, I don't tend to play those kinds of games. Typically, I don't play shooters. Uh, there's no way I'd play it on PC because they're a lot more like serious. And I don't want to get yelled at <laughs> over a game. So I'll stick with the Switch. Just fun. Plus, uh, I have some other friends that play it, or I have another friend that plays it. But it's a good time waster. It's exciting. And then I also got um. Arrives. Help! What makes you think help will get here before more of those bastards? We need here to get them again. Ah! ah. ah. Die, damn you! Cool. That's a good damn it! It's that prisoner again. Kill him. He might be working with the assassins. No, he is not one of them. He can help us. He must, must help, help us. us. They cannot understand why I trust you. They've not seen what I've seen. 
How can I explain? Oh, Listen, old man you know here. the Nine, how they guide our fates with an invisible hand. Is this where I, I think this is where I stopped? I think it, he was asking me for my star sign, and I was like, I fucking can't. I can't read. I can't fucking do this. Uh, I'm not on good terms with the gods. Or I don't know. I don't think about it. That's what I'm gonna do. I've served the Nine all my days, and I chart my course by the cycles of the heavens. The skies are marked with numberless sparks, each a fire, and every one a sign. Hmm. I know these stars well, and I wonder which sign marked your birth. Yeah, I got I got here, and I'm like, I can't fucking do this. I can't fucking read. Uh, let's see. The Apprentice. The Apprentice abilities confers 100 point bonus to your Magicka attribute, but gives you a 100% weakness to magic. We don't, we're not really going to be using magic. So we're not doing that. The lady, the lady blesses blessing confers bonuses of ten points to your willpower and endurance attributes. So I don't want to do that one either. The mage ability confers a po permanent bonus of fifty points to your magicka. Again, we're really not going to use magic. The thief ability grants a ten point bonus to your agility, speed, and luck attributes, possibly, but hmm. with the astronaut, astron, yeah, astronauts. Atronat. Yeah. Ability, you don't regain Magicka over time. Instead, you have a 50% spell absorption to recharge your Magicka. Your base Magicka is also increased by 150 points. Again, we're not really going to be playing a Magic build. Uh, the Lord gives you the Blood of the North. Lesser power to regenerate up to 90 points of health. I think I always do this one. However, you also gain the Trollkin Curse. A permanent 25% weakness to fire. I think I always do that one. Uh, Lover's Kiss. Ritual. It gives us a, a powerful restore health spell I can only use once a day. Serpent. Uh, allows me to cast a slow, potent poison on touch while simulta simultaneously curing myself. Uh, while spelling magic. But this also costs 100, 100 points of fatigue. The shadow. I become invisible for 60 seconds once a day. Steed. Uh, I get fast. The tower. Um, lets me open like one free average lock a day. Uh, a warrior grants 10 points. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do the lord. No, I'm not gonna do the lord. That gives you I'm actually gonna do I think I'm gonna do hmm, I'm gonna do the warrior actually. That's what I'm gonna do. Yes. The signs I read show the end of my path. My <laughs> death, a necessary end, will come when it will come. Uh, what about me? Your stars are not mine. Today, the warrior shall prove a stalwart companion when fortune fades. Aren't you afraid to die, or can you see my fate? Uh, aren't you afraid to die? No trophies of my triumphs precede me, but I have lived well, and my ghost shall rest easy. Men are but flesh and blood. They know their doom, but not the hour. In this, I am blessed to see the hour of my death. Are you, though? To face my apportioned fate, then fall. I don't know about that one, Patrick Stewart. <laughs> I don't know if I want to know when I'm going to die, personally. Uh, that that would just make my anxiety, anxiety go absolute fucking bananas. Uh, can you see my fate? My dreams grant me no opinions of success. Their compass ventures not beyond the doors of death. But in your face, I behold the sun's companion. The dawn of Akatosh's bright glory may banish the coming darkness. With such hope, and with the promise of your aid, my heart must be satisfied. Uh, where are we going? I go to my grave. A tongue shriller than all the music calls me. You shall follow me yet for a while. Then we must part. I don't want to know, because then I'm just going to You may as well make yourself useful here. 
Carry this torch and stick close. I'll just forever be worried about dying. Hey, uh, since even though we're guarding the Emperor, can you tell me about the blades? We're the Emperor's bodyguards. Our job is to get him out of situations like this. Although I admit, things are not going according to plan. Uh, but who is Uriel Septum? My job is to make sure the Emperor gets out of here alive, and I intend to do it. Oh, you're just gonna tell me that? Okay. I guess I would know who Uriel Septum is. But no, I don't want to know if I cause Stick close and let us do our If job, I know, I'm we'll just going to be constantly worried about it. I'll be in permanent waiting mode for my own death. I I rather not know. I rather I'll I'll die when I die. Who knows when that'll be? I sure don't want to know. Cuz then it's just going to make me more stressed. Uh, it's going to make me feel like I really need to do things before I I die on God has mercy on you. March 30th, 2082. You know? This one's mine. Mother's mercy. For the Emperor. I mean, that makes sense to want animals to have a home, but I mean. You can't be good, Razor. And I'm just gonna be fucking thinking about it forever. It'll be all, it'll be on a calendar. And just, no. no, thank you. I think this is where. No. I'm gonna say I think this is where you can get your stole your when you get a uh, taken to jail or whatever. But I don't tend to try and sneak out of jail quite often. Too stressful. Okay, now everybody's gotta go through the door one at a time. I personally think uh, once Hold you get up. outside that Don't Oblivion like Let me take a look. is the probably one of the most pretty games compared to like a Skyrim or Morrowind. It's just very colorful and I, I think a lot of people don't like that or some people don't like that. Personally, I love it. It's just... And then once you get to uh, uh, the Shivering Isles, oh my god. It's crazy there. Come on. We're almost done. Damn it! The gate is barred from the other side. A trap! What about that side passage back there? Worth the try. Let's go. We're almost, we're almost through with them. We can blast through the sewers and I don't know. We're free to do whatever. Come on, get in there. Let's it's go. a dead end. What's your call, sir? I don't know. I don't see any good options here. They're behind us. Wait here, sire. Wait here with the emperor. Guard him with your life. Okay. For, For the, the emperor. emperor! Skyrim is kind of bland, kind of blah in color. I mean, I guess it's in a, you know, a, a I can go no region. further. You alone must stand against the Prince of Destruction and his mortal servants. He must not have the Amulet of Kings. You got it. Take the Amulet. Give it to Joffrey. He alone knows where to find my last son. Find him and close shut the jaws of Oblivion. Okay. And then <laughs> that's just so goofy. He's just sitting there smiling at me, and he fucking dies. He fucking bites it. It's Talos. It's just so funny looking. We failed. I failed. The blades are sworn to protect the emperor. Now he and all his heirs are dead. The amulet. Where's the amulet of kings? It wasn't on the emperor's body. Yeah, but he saw this coming. Didn't he tell you that? Didn't he be like, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna die. Didn't he be like, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna die, so don't worry about it. Did he tell you that? And y'all were like, no. I'm not, <laughs> you're not gonna die. Uh, the emperor gave it to me. Strange. He saw something in you. Trusted you. They say it's the dragon blood that flows through the veins of every septum. They see more than lesser men. The amulet of kings is a sacred symbol of the empire. Most people think of the red dragon crown, but that's just jewelry. 
The amulet has power. Only a true heir of the blood can wear it, they say. He must have given it to you for a reason. Did he say why? Yeah, I, I have to take it to Joffrey. Joffrey? He said that? Why? Uh, there's another heir. Nothing I ever heard about. But Joffrey would be the one to know. He's the Grand Master of my order. Although you may not think so to meet him, he lives quietly as a monk at Wainan Priory, near the city of Coral. How do I get there? First, you need to get out of here. Through that door must be the entrance to the sewers, past the locked gate. That's where we were heading. It's a secret way out of the Imperial City. Or it was supposed to be secret. Hello! Here, you'll need this key for the last door okay. to the sewers. I'm going to attempt to pronounce your name. It's going to go badly. So... Oh, oh wait, wait, is it Arms to or Aura? Yeah, I am. This is my favorite of Elder Scrolls game. It's Arms to Aura. I looked at that and I was at first like, oh, that's gonna be really hard to pronounce, but then I. Uh, how though? There's no. It doesn't even look like Armstrong. It, it, there's no. I would, if I didn't realize it was basically three different words, I would have said like arms, arm, I, I don't know what the heck I would have said. I would have said something stupid, but it doesn't even look like Armstrong. Man, people can't read, but I mean, neither can I, but. Uh, the sewers, you say? There are rats and goblins down there. But from what I've seen of you, I'm guessing you're an experienced knight. Am I right? I mean, I guess. How's my day going? Uh, eh, well enough, I suppose. I didn't, you know, as much as the day can go in these situations. But, uh, thank you. I, I actually, um, I, it's from a pit crew. I, since I have no artistic talent, and I wanted to make something more, I guess, I don't know, something more... What do you say? Uh, what's the word? Like, distinguishable and not just like a smiley face like it used to be? I wanted to have more of an image. An image, that's the word. I was looking for an image. Uh, a knight. So, combat, strength of personality, major skills, block, illusion, heavy armor. Thank you for the follow. Uh, I can't actually see any of my notifications because of the game screen so <laughs> I do apologize if I don't read out the names uh, hello give me a second while I try and specular coma 276 there we go see I can read people we're getting there we're learning how to read <laughs> I think I'm gonna stick um, possibly as a knight uh, blunt and blade block Speechcraft and hand-to-hand -hand and heavy armor. I think I'm gonna stick as a knight. Yes. I thought so. A few rats and goblins won't give you any trouble. No, it won't. We're gonna speed through here, man. We're, we've played this so many times, we're done. <laughs> After the sewers, then what? You must get the amulet to Joffrey. Take no chances, but proceed to Wayne in Priory immediately. We might. Got it? We might get sidetracked, but sure, yes, I, I understand. Good. The Emperor's trust was well placed. Uh, what about you? What will you do? I'll stay here to guard the Emperor's body and make sure no one follows you. You better get moving. May Talos guide you. By the way, thanks for recovering Captain Renault's sword. I'll see that it is given a place of honor in the halls of the very, blades. Very welcome. Okay, we are going to speed through this. Oh god. Here comes all the DLC. We're gonna speed through this. I've done this so many times that this is actually so... It gets a little boring after you've done it a million times. So... Uh, yes, I'm on PC. I am, I am on PC. I do own this on the 360. That was actually the first time I've played it. Uh, I said at the beginning of the stream that I actually... This is the first Elder Scrolls game I ever played. And I actually played it so, so much because I played it back in high school. Um, I played it so much that I broke the family TV that was in the living room because it was one of those old plasma projector TVs. 
Had I played it so much, I busted a bulb. <laughs> Poor Emperor. Uh, Rip Patrick Stewart. You will be missed. I really don't need to go this way. You will be missed. It's it's like my it's like uh, Fallout 3 and my my Liam Neeson dad, which I probably will end up playing as well because I miss my Liam Neeson dad. But yes, I am I am on PC. I I don't have a capture card at the moment because I do have a lot of games that I would like to play, but um, they're on console. I'm still fairly new to streaming. All right, let's, let us get out of here. We are done with this. I want to see the outside. I want to see the beautiful oblivion scenery. I want to see the blinding colors. I love it here. I love it here. I love it here. Yes, yes, thank you for the DLC quest. Okay. Ugh. Hello. Jeez, everyone's coming in today. That's so nice. Hello, F. Ram Dukes. I probably said that first one wrong. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I can't read. Um, I do apologize if it does get a little uh, not as smooth. My PC is a little outdated. I mean, by a little, it's a lot. So, it does do this sometimes. And it's unfortunate. Maybe, if it can run Skyrim, it should be able to run um, Let's move this to medium. I'm gonna have to restart. Turn this down. Turn this down. Grass distance. Take fog off. Let's see. Because I can run this fine um, not streaming. It just streaming, it gets a little meh. Should I keep HDR lighting on? Okay, so I turn texture detail to medium. I'll, it says I have to restart, but we're gonna see if this helps at all. Mm. How's my day going? Pretty good. I mean, it's not awful. I can see in the playback it's not disgusting, but it's not great. <laughs> it's not amazing. I'm not paying attention to where I'm going. If it gets too unbearable, I will do some finagling. But it, it looks like it's being- it's behaving. It looks like it's behaving. I'm hoping to upgrade my PC. Um, oh my god, I completely went the wrong direction. I was not paying attention. Oh well, it's fine. I'm hoping to upgrade my PC here soon. It needs a new um, graphics card. And that- that should fix some of my problems, but we sell. We sh we'll see. It's it's very outdated. I don't want to go that way. Very out. Very very outdated. <laughs> but what can you do? Okay. So we may start the main quest, but I think we're gonna do the arena. We're doing the arena. Uh, first, yes, because I tend we're gonna we're gonna hang around the uh, Imperial City for a little bit. Yes, yes. I love the arena quest line. We're gonna hang around the city a little bit, do some of the quests in here, and then we'll take wherever wherever our whims take us. I have all the DLC, so we can do the Shivering Isles. I've never done Knights of the Nine. So we might end up doing that on stream as well. I hear that's kind of a pain in the butt, though. <laughs> so, possibility. A possibility for sure. Knights of the Nine. Yeah, it's one of the DLC uh, quests. I've never done it. I'm pretty sure you have to go and, like, go to every single way shrine on the map before you can really get into it. Yes, a possibility. So, but if we do that, that'll be like the very last thing. I'll also probably end up modding this as well, because I do know how to mod it. I just 
didn't feel like doing it today. Okay, we'll mod it. We'll we'll do stuff. We'll be fun. I also stream Skyrim as well, and I'm sure we will be streaming Morrowind at some point. I don't know who you are, friend, but you've got about ten seconds to tell me what you're doing in my bloodworks before I lop your arms off. I love you too. I want to be a combatant. You what? You want to be a combatant? <laughs> Look at you! My granny could beat you, and she's dead! <laughs> Wait, you're serious, aren't you? Dude, that's funny as well. What is it with you people? You walk in, want to be combatants, and your entrails end up decorating my red room. All right, it's your funeral. Welcome to the arena, you filthy pit dog. You're free to fight so long as you know the rules of competition. Now let me give you your battle raiment. Oh, it really is. It's the uniform of, the of all arena combatants. Do you want a light raiment or a heavy raiment? Have you ever done a a, a run with cheats? I actually haven't. Um, I don't know why I had. I've never done a run with cheats. I'm gonna do heavy because right now we're doing heavy Here. armor. Wear it proudly and keep it in good condition, would you? That way, I can give it to some other suicidal idiot after you're dead. So does that mean that whoever just wore let that me know when died? you're ready for a match, but we can get this over with. And then they gave it to me. Okay, rumors. I heard a rumor that you're an idiot. Any truth to that? A little bit, a little, little bit, tiny bit. Okay, you got me on that one. Um, God, I forgot you have so much. He has so much stuff to say. We will get around to that one at some point. Get a move on. You're, he's not he's not wrong <laughs> god this is so ugly though oh it's so horrible like why do, why am i not wearing pants what is up with that like sh sure okay oh, whatever you haven't run home to mama yet huh that's a good sign so you ready for a match, or do you just need some information? Uh, I want to fight. I want to kill somebody. All right, maggot. Looks like you're suited up in your battle raiment and all set to go. The red room is just over there. When you're ready to get eviscerated, just head up the ramp to the well, arena. Good my luck. cat, he wears and pants. Azura have mercy on your soul. You could put pants on cats. It's perfectly acceptable. Okay, so probably talk. I'll talk to him after a match, so we can get that quest line started. Which oh, it reminds me of my dad. So direct. I don't know if I should say oof or I should, I should laugh. <laughs> All right, let's go. Oh, people of the Imperial City, let's go. welcome Come on. to the arena. This for is me this when I play match, Overwatch. <laughs> on my Switch. Just waiting for the map to, to start. I'm just like jumping. Dogs, so let's not waste any time. Let the battle yeah, I, begin. I actually just I just bought it. I only have it on the Switch though, because I'm a baby and I don't Damn, bitch, you fast! Dude, come at me swimming! Yeah, I only have it for the Switch. I Whoa. just bought it because it was on sale and I wanted to But I have it on the Switch because I'm a baby. And oh shit. Oh shit, oh shit. The Switch gonna kill me. The Switch gonna fucking kill me. Wait, I gotta put it down in baby mode. <laughs> Wait, I gotta hold on. That might be too hard for me. Let me just do 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 <laughs> Baby mode it. Cause I'm a baby. It is. I know it's better on PC. I just, I'm there. I'm just afraid um, with, about the community. I'm, because I'm not hardcore. I'm, I'm very casual. So I'm just, yeah, I'm just scared. I get very scared when it comes to like uh, multiplayer games or online games. So I, I don't, I don't want to be bad. <laughs> I don't want to be bad. And I don't want people to yell at me. And I'm sure you're asking yourself, well, why are you streaming? Uh, that's different. It's much different. But yeah, the Switch. I don't know. It, I By played... the nine divines, you did it. You actually won. 
You ain't so bad after all, pit dog. You may even survive enough matches to advance in rank. Here, kid. This is your payout for the victory. There's more where that came from if you can keep on winning. Now go unwind before your next fight. Yeah, I, I mean, that's how I see it. I see it's just a game, and, you know, it's, it's whatever. But some people, man, I'm just... I don't like being yelled at, and, you know, so... Uh, I just don't want to involve myself in that. One day I might get it on PC, but for now I have it on the Switch. And I played my first, like, actual online match, like a quick match, and I sucked. I sucked so bad, but it was so much fun. It was hilarious. This one guy kept killing me. It was so funny. I got, like, one kill on him, and I was just like, yes, I did it. Hail, friend. I don't believe I've ever seen you down here on the Bloodworks before. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Agranok Gromalag. Beautiful Most answer. people just call me the Grey Prince. It's kind of silly, I know, but the people of Cyrodiil need heroes. I'm more than happy to oblige. Ah, so you're an arena combatant. It's always good to meet a fellow warrior, especially one who isn't here just to kill the Grand Champion. <laughs> yeah, I'm... That's probably, like, what I, I need to learn to do. I just have, like, multiplayer games just give me anxiety. Like... I want to, like, I, I have Elder Scrolls Online, um, but I get freaked out trying to do, like, public dungeons with, like, people I don't know. Because, again, I don't want to get, <laughs> I don't want to get yelled at. Um, that's another game I wanted to stream, but I know my computer could not handle streaming that. Uh, the Great Prince. Yes, it's what everyone calls me. I guess I'm partly to blame. I have never made it a secret that I'm actually only half orc. I am a lord's son, yet I've been denied the noble privilege to which I'm entitled. So I have become the Grey Prince, noble in my own right. Beep beep. Still, if I could prove who I really am and show the world that an orc can be noble in blood as well as deed, maybe, yes, you could help me. <laughs> Sorry, I, I can't help right now. Sorry. Uh, I may be able to help. Uh, tell me more. I grew up here in the Imperial City, but I was born elsewhere. My mother was a servant in the employ of Lord Leviticus and resided at his fortress. Lady Leviticus was a shrew of a woman. The Lord and my mother mm. grew close and mm. ultimately fell in love. I was the result of their union. When the lady learned of my birth, she was furious and threatened to kill both my mother and me. So we fled, leaving my claim to nobility behind. Uh, cut to the chase already. No, uh, please go on. Please tell me your story. My mother died recently. Before she passed, she gave me this key and told me it would unlock the truth at the place of my birth. Crowhaven. Crowhaven is a ruined fort I far to the you west want of to here. Unlock that truth, I'd go but... myself, but my training regimen doesn't allow for the luxury of such an excursion. I'll, I'll help you, I guess. My friend, you must travel to Crowhaven and use the key to unlock whatever it is that holds the proof of my birthright. Find this proof and return it to me, and I'll share with you some of my finest combat techniques. Trust me, mm. you can't learn these moves in a book. Mm. Okay. Thanks. I, I, mm. mm. Alright. Uh, what's the other dude that I want to talk to? This guy. Oh, hey there. Nice to make your acquaintance. I am, well, my name's not important, really. I'm a combatant in the arena. Gladiator rank. It's our home away from home, isn't it? Yes, I don't I know. I guess you could say the Blade Master and Battle Matron are our mother and father, huh? <laughs> oh, ha <laughs> ha. So funny. Okay. We are, we are going to put some pants on for one. Farewell, my friend. Go. May your blade always strike true. And check out this one. And do this first. Quest. 
Oh yeah, I, I <laughs> walked out the door and then completely forgot what I was doing. Wow, just like real life. Oh, the music in this game is so good. I don't think... Am I nervous when I stream? I get, I do get very nervous um, when new people come into the chat. Uh, I get a little scared. So yes, I, I do. I freak out. I get stage fright, I guess. Um, I'm also new to streaming, so I'm still not quite sure how loud I am. But uh, when, when there are new people in the chat, I do kind of get freaked out. Because I'm like, oh shit, I have to be funny. <laughs> Because I'm kind of used to just streaming to a handful of people. See, I've been having um, my I've been always I've been having issues with my mic. I, I don't know how close it needs to be to my mouth because it is a headset mic. So I I don't know. It's a it's just a headset mic. So that could be the issue. Um, I do have it like. Uh, uh, what's the word? I have it like tuned up. <laughs> Not tuned up. That doesn't make fucking sense. Oh wait, hold on. I'm fucking stupid. I need to turn it up. It wasn't turned up all the way. Hold on a second. I turned it down. Because I thought it was too loud. Why is Discord open? Discord, what the fuck? Go away. Wait, shit. Steam, why did you open my Discord? Wait, I gotta figure out. Wait, I gotta figure out how to. Okay, there we go. Oh shit. I mean, that is true. They can't like do that. It's just I, I have like some sort of anxiety. Oh hold on, now my. Get me out of here. I don't know what is up with this keyboard, or if it's... What the fuck happened? What is happening, man? Wait. Oh, oh no. Oh dear. There we go. Okay. Wait. Mm. Mm. Okay. I can't get out of my menu. <laughs> I don't know what happened, but I cannot get out of my menu. <laughs> For whatever reason, I hit something and Steam, uh, uh, it popped up my Discord. But now I'm stuck in my menu. So I might have to like, close out and come back. Cause we're stuck. It it auto saves when you walk through a door, so it's, it should be fine. Bruh, what are we doing right now? Alt tab. Ooh, I didn't try that. Hold on. Uh, wow, I didn't even know I could do that. So thank you. <laughs> okay, let's try that again. Hold on. I've heard Oblivion can be a pain in the butt to stream. That's what I've heard. Ooh, thanks for the follow. Ephraim Dukes, I appreciate it. I've only been streaming for... When did I start? Mel, do you remember when I started streaming? Because I don't. <laughs> I started streaming, I think I've only been streaming uh, since September. It's because I, I'm smart. I know things. Alt tab, you said. Alt tab, alt tab. Alt tab. Yeah! Yeah! Yeah, it's only been a month or two. 
So I'm still learning the ropes here. Okay. Hopefully that did autosave. Oh, wait. Sh okay, we're good. I did- I- I- even though I couldn't see, I did figure that you did follow me, Arms Tora. Uh, not to be conceited or anything, but I mean, I am the best streamer on Twitch, as we all know. I'm absolutely amazing. But I'm- I'm- I'm slowly warming up to it. I'm slowly warming up to it. Slowly we're having a good time. <laughs> You missed the disaster. Oh, I'm not even going to talk about it, actually. Oh my god. All visitors to the Imperial are <laughs> if you were there, you know. You you know. Okay, we're going to not have that happen again. I'm going to go do this quest. Which I've actually never finished this quest because I know how it ends. Um, and I didn't want to have it end. So... I just never finished it. That night was nuts and we're never doing it again. We shall never speak of it. Ever again. <laughs> I almost died. It was hilarious that I even got... Okay, so two nights ago, I <laughs> I did like a drunk stream. Because I was like, I was like, oh, I'm, I want to stream, but I kind of want to drink. So two nights ago, I did a drunk stream. But, uh... <laughs> I have horrible impulse control. So I drank half a bottle of vodka and some gin. And I don't need to tell you how awful that is. It uh, was so bad. I played Animal Crossing. It started off fine. I played um, the OG Animal Crossing um, Thanksgiving event until we got all the furniture. And then I switched to Pokemon Coliseum, which I will be playing at some point this week. We'll be starting over. I switched to Pokemon Coliseum. By that point, I was like, I was, I was basically almost off the cliff. I had almost, I was off the edge of the cliff. I was standing there and I was trying to read the dialogue and it got to a point where I was like, I can't read. I can't do this. How so, are you? so they do need to make another Pokemon Coliseum. So I was like, you know what I want to do? I want to play Oblivion. And I somehow got Oblivion up and running. I somehow was able to put it into Streamlabs, you know, it, with the categories and everything. Started the game. And that's kind of where my memory starts to uh, disappear. <laughs> and that was... You know, stranger... There comes a time in every man's yes. life when he has to admit that he's lost the fight. Well, I've fought and I've lost. And and that was Who did I lose? That. To? Who is my great enemy? Oh, don't laugh. It's a bunch of damn fish. I'm laughing. It's hilarious. Ha. La laugh in his face. Would Sir Mittens laugh in people's faces? No. How can I help? Go on and la Wait. Help? Oh, well then. I'm a fisherman. Or at least I was. Until one of those slaughter fish down go near fishing, took my boys. leg off. I was collecting their scales, see? I had a contract with this young alchemist. You wouldn't believe what he was paying for those scales. Then last month, oh, yeah, we one of the bastards the, got a hold of my leg. Basement children. Took me right out of the business. But this alchemist, he needs the scales right away. Uh, about the scales. Scales. The alchemist was paying so much for the scales that I'm close to having enough saved so that I can retire. But now I can't get out there to the lake. Not with this lake. I only needed 12 more scales. Can you believe it? I was so close. I've picked up a few things in my travel. If you head out there and bring me back the 12 scales that I need, I can make it worth your time. Oh, we can do that easy. Help an old fisherman out, won't you? Of course I will help you, sir. I'll get you your retirement. Um... But yeah, it was awful. I was sick uh, the, all, all the next day. It was not fun. I almost died. The devil was coming for me, for sure. Slaughterfish. Oh wait, I should probably have this quest activated. 
Go, f go fish. You got any, got any threes? No, go fish. I really like, cause I, in what, uh, Skyrim, you can't, you can't swing your weapon underwater, which I think is very unrealistic. But then again, I really shouldn't be able to swim with all my armor, of course. Where? Ah, oh, there you are. Uh, yeah. Give uh, me your scales, sir. Yes. Thank you. Imagine, <laughs> imagine going down to the lake and seeing some cat or some guy swimming with a, a sword in one hand and a shield in another. Just, you have to be like, what the fuck is this dude up? Like, what is his deal? What is he on? I need to stay away from him. <laughs> How long was I supposed to get? I was not paying attention. 12. 12 and we have... Not 12, I know that much. Whoops. Oh, there we go. I have to be careful because if I scroll in-game it scrolls one of the menus in <laughs> Streamlabs. How many? We have... T oh, we have two. Great. Oh, sh my lord. Oh, my lord. What a mess. There we go. There we go. Okay. We're all good. Uh, nothing like killing some fish while some peaceful music plays <gasps> on. It's a way to fix that. How do I fix that? How do I make that go away? Come here. I will not be killed, bested by a fish. There we go. That's probably only three. I, submit. I can probably Google it. There's one thing I know how to do. It's, it's Google. Not to brag or anything. Are you okay? Oh, I've never actually seen that happen. What? Yeah, but uh, not to brag or anything, but I know how to Google. It's one of my many skills that I have. By many, I mean two. Where are you? There you are. Give me your scales. This I forgot how boring this quest is. I don't know why I did this. Where is the other one? How many do we have? Oh, I should probably heal. We have five. We're almost there. So I also bought Monster Hunter um, Generations Ultimate for the Switch as well. I've never played a Monster Hunter game. So I figured, well, it's on sale. Oh my god. So I think I'll get it. Oh my god. Fish, please. Holy sh... So I got that game. What setup do I have for my PC? God, I if I only knew. It's a it's an old old alienware that I got one year for Christmas. Either right after I graduated high school or something like that. It's a very it's old. It's so outdated. It's I don't know. My graphics card is ridiculously outdated. It's it's a wonder that I can run anything at all. <laughs> but I'm I'm hoping to upgrade it a little bit. Because uh, building a whole new PC is just not going to be viable at the moment. So I'm going to try and work with what I have. And upgrade a little bit. Because I, I think I can only upgrade graphics cards, some RAM, and a processor. And then that's it. But I'm only speaking on very vague knowledge. Because I actually don't know much about PCs. I know how to work one for the most part. 
But, uh, setup, technical, not so much. Could probably Google it and kind of teach myself, but yeah. It's old. God, I'm, I'm basically going out to the sea for these scales. Yeah, I would have to do it um, in, in pieces and parts. So it's... Uh, I'm still debating on if I want to build one or if I want to just upgrade what I have and then go from there. It's... I'm not sure. Because right now it, it would be easier just to get a new graphics card. Because I know right now that... What year is your Alienware? I... I can't remember. <laughs> it's, uh... I can't, it's old. It's... 20... I don't know. 20... 20... 13? 2014? 2015? Somewhere around there, probably. Maybe? Um... Because we open it up. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. Because we looked at um, just doing a new graphics card because that's really what the biggest issue um, it, with my PC right now is my graphics card is ridiculously out of date. I can't remember what it is. I, I do know that every now and then well, before I buy a new game, I check to make sure that my computer can run it. Um... <laughs> And it usually tells me what my graphics card is, but it's very old, I've been told. But that's what we were going to do, is just stick a new graphics card in it, because that's what we need. But I don't know. It might just be better off to up just build a whole new PC, and then keep this one for whatever. Because it might just be easier, because I'm not, I'm not looking for the top of the line um, stuff. Because I don't play top of the line games typically. I play a lot of old games. But I just want something that run, uh. that'll run better and that will stream better. Because I know, or I have a feeling, that because my computer is so outdated, it has a, has, has trouble, uh, streaming, running, and then also streaming some games at the same time. <laughs> so. Like, Skyrim I can run on like ultra all my mods no problem but then when I try and stream it it f it freaks out and I'm, I'm guessing because it's trying to pull memory or something <laughs> I don't know I have very vague knowledge what's trying to fight me yeah the CPU it definitely is it, it's it might just be better to to start buying pieces. Did that pop up? Did that Discord message pop up? Oh my god. Let me just, uh, real quick... Let me just shut down my Discord. Because I don't know if that popped up, because I can't see. And I'm sure it did. I'm sure everybody saw that, which is fine. Oh, I'm almost dead. <laughs> I'm not even paying attention. Yeah, I can definitely tell you that uh, uh, this runs a very high CPU. Mainly because it's old and I'm, uh, it's old. But I, I think that's what I'm going to do. I think I'm just going to start buying pieces and, um... There you are. I don't know what I'll do if you don't get those scales for me. I've saved so much for my retirement, but it's just not enough. Uh, about those scales? By the nine, you've got the scales! Thank you. Let it never be said that there are no kind souls in this world. I'll give you this ring in trade. I have no use for it anymore. What is it? I, I imagine that it. they would be very valuable to someone like you. Thank you, stranger. 
You've shown me kindness, and I will think of you in the long, comfortable days ahead. What'd you give me? What does it do? Does that, like, give me... Yeah, water breathing. Ah, I guess that's useful. If we want to, like, explore the depths. Let's do... <laughs> we can find all the Nern root. That'll be fun. But yeah, I mean, I also want to stream- Because I have games on, like, the PS4 and stuff that I would love to stream. Like Kingdom Hearts or uh, Yakuza. A couple Final Fantasy games. And then streaming some Switch games would be fun. What is it, citizen? Like, I don't know, Animal Crossing. Even though all I do in that game is fish. It's still fun. I don't know, I'm just- I'm- I'm too- f I'm afraid to drop money on streaming, besides a possible new computer, because I'm gonna need that anyways at some point. Mainly because I can be very flaky, I guess. And sometimes I could just disappear and then come back after three months. But... But I don't think that's gonna be the issue, because I do typically stream at least once a week. Typically. Uh, the day is kind of random. It's really whenever I feel like it. But I try and stream at least once a week. Because I kind of get stressed out after... If I get stressed out if I don't stream at least once a week. I don't know why. It's just... Oh, this grass. This, I bet it's the grass that's like killing it. Though it doesn't look too bad. I don't know about... Year end. I understand it doesn't look awful. Becoming increasingly prevalent in the Somerset Isle. It seems some go ahead, please. What's this? I don't think I've ever. When you visit a way shrine of Zenithar, and you've lived a good life by the Nine, you may receive a blessing of luck. Okay. Thanks. I guess. Good day. I don't think I've ever. Well. Can I click what on have you? We here? The news from I probably have to bring like an offering have or something. About the attack on the chapel, then? I don't the typically do anything the with those because I'm impatient. I think the only one I've done is the Sh Shagarath one. Why am I getting subtitles? What the fuck? I've only ever done the Shagarath one. Oh, excuse me, <laughs> Mr. Rat. How dare you? So very rude. Ooh. Log. Mmm. Tasty. But I don't know. <laughs> But I got I got Monster Hunter Generations Ultimate for the Switch because that was also on sale, and I've never played a Monster Hunter game, so that was interesting. It was fun actually. It was fun, and it's kind of made me possibly think about maybe playing a Dark Souls game, even though I know they're not the same. But it's just. The fact that when you do like the big hunts with the big monsters, you kind you have to be patient, and you have to like watch their attack pattern, and some of them can be trial and error. It kind of got me thinking that maybe I'll want to try like a Dark Souls game, even though I I don't like I don't like hard games, but it it got me interested. <laughs> I will lose my mind playing Dark Souls. Uh, but I've I have had a lot of people want me to play Dark Souls or be like, you should play Dark Souls, you should play Dark Souls, and I've always been like, no, it's a hard game. I'm a baby. I don't want to play hard game. But now I I might I might play Bloodborne because that one I'm the most interested aesthetic wise. But that one. I will. I would have to wait until I upgrade my PC for sure. There, there will be no way that that will be able to run on my 
a potato. Like, absolutely not. What is this? What's in here? Torball, the Sufficient's house. I'm gonna save it real quick. Sir Mins. That was definitely the one probably from the other day. We haven't even done an actual save. Whoops. Whoopsies. Oh well. Let's see. I've never been in this house, actually. So why are you naked? I mean, I guess it is your own house, so it's kind of whatever. You're not supposed to ah! You scared me. Go ahead, me. please. Oh, oh, okay. You're not gonna tell me anything? You're just... You're scary. The Nibineans think they're slick. Slippery is more like it. What does that even... What does that mean? You too. Okay, I'm leaving. You're kind of scary, and I don't like you. You just live out here by yourself? Okay, sure. Sure. What is... What's this? What are these houses? I've never been out here, I don't think. Door to Mulus... Angelus's <laughs> houses. House. Why would I pluralize that? Nobody's in here. Oh wait, never mind. I would prefer you leave, friend. Please. Why? Why? What? Why? Bitch, won't even let me ask why. You look sad. Maybe somebody died. Only thing worse than an ogre is two ogres. Tough bastards, and spells seem to bounce right off of them. Just hit him. Just hit him harder. It'll be fine. Just leave me. Please. Why? What? Okay. Cool, I guess. So we found a sad person and a scary man. There is nothing like wandering through the Cyrodelian woods. i tell you that. I think this game probably has the best music out of the three Oblivion games that I- uh, Oblivion, oh my god. The three Elder Scrolls games that I played. I mean, they're all good, but I think this one has a certain nostalgia factor to it, so I just- It just fills my heart with warmth because I play this game so much. And it kind of sucks that I played this game so much because- Oh my god! Wait! No! Oh no. Who are you? Get out of my- Get out of my swamp! Um, I guess I'll take this stuff. But it kind of sucks that I played this game so much because it, it, it really is hard for me to come back and revisit it because I already- I've done so much stuff. So. Oh, you're a music teacher and you write music? That's that's really cool, actually. But just... This soundtrack is so good. It just... Sometimes you just want to sit there and listen to it. That is where mods come in. I had modded it on my laptop at some point. Because I was, I was away and I wanted to play it, so... Um, I don't want to do the stone yet. So I, I modded it and there was actually a uh, YouTube video Oops, a YouTube video that actually explained it really well step by step. So it made it super super easy. Hopefully I can find that again. Because I do plan on modding this game. Um, I just have to be careful with like texture mods because that will make my game run like trash until I can upgrade it. But I definitely want to do like quest mods and like stuff like that. The, the Shrine of Sanguine. Don't I have to like... Oh. More powerful champion to begin this quest. Ooh, I've never done his quest. I cannot open the chest without Sang Sanguine's blessing. Fair enough. So I'll have to keep that in the back of my mind. Okay. 
Thanks. I don't. Oh, it's probably because I got close to the Nibbin Bay. <laughs> oh my god, these wolves. They scare me every time. But I do, yeah, I do plan on modding this at some point. Mostly like new quests and stuff. Oh my god, these fucking wolves, dude. At least give me a, mino a minotaur. At least give me that. So then we can be really scared. I mean, I don't know. Like, the sky is really beautiful. The music is really nice. The, the landscapes are uh, vibrant. Uh, almost too much sometimes. And green. It's... I really like just... I used to just like to run through the forest to see what I could find. That was always really fun. And I do like Skyrim. I, I do play that on stream as well. But where I have actual mods and stuff. Any, uh, anybody for... Uh, For some rock climbing? Oh my god. <laughs> I remember watching... I know it was a GPM. Like a couple of years back when he was doing uh, Modded Oblivion. And he drank a ton of skooma. Like an absolute ton of skooma. And that shit was so funny. He just went like flying. And I think... Well I think you can do that in the regular game. I don't think you need a mod for that. I think you just need to buy a ton of skooma and then there you go. Neum. What is this? What do we have here? I don't know, but I like that sculpture. That. I want to look at it. That's neat. That's neat. I wonder if there's a. Uh, what's it called? The. Uh. uh what are they called? A, a, a alien, an alien uh, ruin here. If we see if it is, we're gonna go in. But if we see any ghosts, we're leaving because I don't have a silver sword. Looks like bandits, though. Or was, anyways. Huh. Maybe it's down below? Tap. Oh, I think this might be a quest? I don't know. I can't remember. I know there is a, maybe a couple quests where you go into an alien ruin. I know with the fighter guild. Fighter's guild you do. And I can't remember if this is one of them. No, it's Tan Tanzel Will. I don't think it's this one. Ooh, nothing is spookier than bandits. I can tell you that for free. I don't know. I don't know. Sometimes I still get nervous. I don't know what to talk about. <laughs> Shit. I don't want to die. I'm still so weak. Maybe this was a bad idea. Ah! Let's see. I'll take that. And that's it. That's all I want. Nothing else. I might switch to Pokemon Coliseum here in the half hour. Because I did want to play that. So I might be switching that here in a half hour. Ah! Oh. Jump on my sword while you You don't even have a sword. What are you talking about? You have a hammer. Also, that sounds like a euphemism for something. Jump on my sword. <laughs> like, sir, I don't know you. You're trying to kill me. I don't think so. God, why do none of these bandits have money? Don't you know I'm poor? And I need money? Let's see. When I first got into Elder Scrolls, I used to make like really detailed OCs. 
because that was like fun to give them stories and stuff as to like why they looked a certain way or like why they're there or, like what happened to them I feel like a lot of people do that but also I know people there are some people who don't do that and I'm like why don't you want to have fun let's see can you get me no Let's see, I think we- oh my god. <laughs> I did it again. There you go. Oh, my stuff's broken. Let's do- Stay still. Stay still so I can shoot you. Stay still so I can shoot you. Hell yeah. That's how you do it. And then I have... Nope. Oh my god. That's gonna get annoying real quick. Uh, yeah. Well, that's all we can do. That's fine. At least it's not broken. Let me check that. So I guess this is just filled with bandits. Did we ever get more like lore on like the aliens and stuff like that? I don't I, I don't think we ever did. Oh, and my intelligence is being drained, so I guess I'm gonna turn into even more of an idiot. How awful. I guess maybe I could like craft a story for Sir Mittens, which is our character's yes, name if you here. didn't know. Oh. Maybe we will make him a lovable yet not not the brightest. Ooh, a skull. Not the brightest. I don't know. I don't know. I'll have to think about it. Because, like, I kind of want to make him, like, he's a kind warrior. Uh -huh. He's just kind of traveling through life and helping people as he goes. We can completely ignore the fact that he was in jail and he has to do this main quest line to save Cyrodiil. Cyr completely ignore that because that's no fun and he's just like wandering around you know going wherever the wind takes him and helping people who need it jump on my sword you have an axe sometimes he doesn't have the best common sense and kind of just does stuff on impulse Why did I come in here? I hate alien ruins. I guess we've already, already been that way. There's usually nothing here. Okay, so we have to go up. We have to go up. Is that the best you can do? Excuse me. Uh. Alright, so I think we've cleared this room. Actually, you know what? Let me get the fuck out of this place. I hate it here. I hate it here. Why did I come here? He actually scared me. He actually scared me a little bit. Now I'm lost. I'm lost. Like, you know, that the That's show fun. Lost. Oh my god. Oh. Just leave me alone. I want to leave. I want to leave, but I'm lost. And I can't get out. Oh. Let me out. Let me out. Okay. What is a. Oh, thought I was gonna. I thought it was a pressure plate, like one of those ones that'll kill me. Did I make it out? Did I do it? To arms. 
arms, two arms. Oh my god. Please just let me leave. I promise I'll never come in here ever again. I don't know what that'll do. I don't want to step on it. So. Oh my god, did I find it? Oh god, I found it. Thank god. Oh, I thought I was going to be stuck in there forever. Alright, let's at least let's do this quest at least before we switch to um, Pokemon Coliseum. <laughs> and then we'll do the Pokemon Coliseum where I can actually read and it's not just a a horrible time. Oh my god, more bandits. Leave me alone. We've got ourselves a lot. Uh, Leave me alone. I'm just a tiny cat. I've never done it. Oh my god, did my thing break? <laughs> Shit, my sword broke. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Where is- oh, he's over here. Ooh, that was close. I mean, to be fair, I did have a blast until I got sick. It was kind of fun. I was ha I, I remember really having fun and being like, oh hell yeah, this is my jam. I'm gonna take that just so I have something. Oh, we killed a deer. Uh, I'll take that. Just so I have something, because my stuff broke. And I'm going to take a nap. In your camp. There's nothing here that I want. We'll do an hour. Um, you realize that all your life you have been coasting along as if you were in a dream. Suddenly... Facing the trials of the last few days, you have come alive. Um, let's see. Intelligence. Total magicka and magic use. I might do that just because I use the restoration uh, spell a lot. This affects how much people like me. Uh, I guess I'll do intelligence, personality, and luck. Just, you know, you can... Never have enough luck. It's probably safe as well. Okay. Let's go kind of do this quest. And then Pokemon Coliseum time. I can't believe we didn't swim through any body of water. Because I feel like typically I end up swimming my way here. Wait, we're not here yet. Never mind. I lied. We're not here yet. I don't think. Oh, wait, we have to take that boat over to an island. Pretty sure. I should probably give myself the Warhammer at the very least so I have something. Let's see. Oh, I should just fast travel to Anvil. What the hell am I doing with my life? I should have just looked. There we go. Now we're making some progress. Oh, in Anvil, I'm pretty sure I can start the Fighter's Guild quest there as well. Do, do, do. Do you know what song just got stuck in my head? Uh, remember that episode of Spongebob 
Maik. Wait, Maik. Come back. You're too fast. I want to talk to you. But you know that episode of Spongebob where he's- Yes! Yeah, stepping on the beach! Do 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 do! That one. <laughs> that's- that's stuck in my head. Stepping on the beach! Do 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 do! <laughs> and I'm not even on a beach. How'd you know that was gonna- that, that's the one I was even gonna talk about. <laughs> oh my god. Stepping on the beach! Do 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 do! Oh. I don't know why that got stuck. I don't know why that's in my head all of a sudden. It's all one that matters to me. Well, what about, um... Uh... The, the Striped Sweater song. What about that one? I can barely remember. Oh, it's all this grass that's killing me for sure. Let's see, maybe I can... No, don't quit. I want to at least finish this before we switch to Pokemon Coliseum. Grass distance. Just turn that off. Can we just turn the grass off? Let's turn off grass. We don't need grass. Uh, low. There! There we go! Oh, there we go. Beautiful. Beautiful. I mean, it's a little ugly. It, the ground looks a little bald, but beautiful. Now it runs so much better. Ah, uh, We don't need grass. Fuck grass. Who needs grass? I mean, the grass well, looks a little bald, but it's alright. Still love it. Wait. If it's another wolf, I swear to god. I swear to god I'm gonna kill it. If it's another wolf. Where is it? Well, I'll just wait until it finds me. Are we at... Okay, so we are at where we need to be. We're just gonna try and find our way in. There we go. There he is. Fuck you. Get wrecked. Alright, let's find this thing that this guy wants, that the Grey Prince wants, so he can know about uh, his ancestry. I've entered Crowhaven. I almost said Cowhaven. Somewhere inside, I will unlock the truth to Agronok. Ag yeah, Agronok Grow Malog is searching for. I should be cautious, however. The fort has long since lost its noble trappings, and the presence of evil is unmistakable. Cowhaven, the land of moose. Alright, fuck these skeletons. Fuck you. That's very rude. You didn't even say hello. You just shot me in the back. Uh. Very rude of you. And then the wo the wolf that probably chased me in from outside is also here. What a party. You know, nothing like a good skeleton party. I, I like this Warhammer. I think I'm going to stick with it, actually. It does a lot more damage than that... A sword. And I think I typically stick with a sword most of the time. I should probably do something else for once in my life. Because unlike, I guess, most people who play Elder Scrolls games, I don't do the sneaky archer. I'm more of a hack and slash person myself. I go in guns blazing. Stealth? No thank you. I'll just kill everybody. That's fine. Let's see. I hear you. Well, I don't hear you. I hear the... Open faster. That- Whoa! You came around that corner like... Mew. Anybody want some uh, moccasins? Anybody? No? Okay. I'll take that. Oh, I'll take that. You know... Uh, that's one thing that I want to be buried with when I die, is a lockpick and a repair hammer. Definitely. Definitely what I would like to have in my coffin, I, personally. And if it's not there, I'll be very upset and I will come back and haunt everybody. Because there wasn't a lockpick and a repair hammer in my coffin. And some gold, of course. 
Well, I need the gold because how am I supposed to, to pay the ferryman? You know? How am I supposed to... I have not eaten in decades. You... Ooh, Lord Leviticus, you are looking a little, uh... Oof. Worse for wear, sorry. I'm gonna have to put you out of your misery there. I'll take that, though. Oof. Sorry, I killed your dad. Here's a ring. Letter. I was heartbroken when you rejected me. Tell me what I can do to win your heart. I will slay trolls, walk through thorns, fast for a week. Please don't shut me out of your life. I love you more than fl a flower needs sunshine. Your whatever that word is, lover. Penitent? I think it's penitent. I can't read. Can't read. Never learned. I don't want any of these. Even though I could probably sell them, so I guess I'll take it. Uh, chest. Anything? No. I love how I say I can't read and yet I'm reading like four books at the same time. I can't read! Words? What are those? The Journal of Lord Leviticus. I will be reading all of this. Get ready. Beauty, pure and sublime. <laughs> Nothing like reading this and having the sound of um, battle behind you. Amazing. Beauty, pure and sublime. That is the only way to accurately describe my love. The maiden grow my log. True. I can't read. Get ready. True. The orcs of Tamriel. Orcs. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> the orcs of Tamriel are often valified by the other citizens of the empire and rarely would they be considered a pleasure to look upon. So is my maiden L Luktov. <laughs> the orcs of Tamriel. <laughs> A rare breed of orc, unlike the rest of her kin and physical appearance? Nay. In fact, she is a perfect representation. Re mm -hmm. Yep. Yes. Representative. Yes. We all know what that word is. Of her race. Green skin, muscular. <laughs> muscular frame. The arcs of Tamriel <laughs> and muscular frames. And all, but beautiful she is. All the same. For who am I to for I am to judge? Who am I to criticize? <laughs> Told you I can't read. When so many would condemn my very existence, I can only hope my love is as understanding when she learns of my unique condition. For I have yet to reveal that most precious of secrets. Entry two. Damn the politics of my station, taxation and trade negotiations and meetings with disingenuous aristocrats. It's sometimes enough to make me regret my birth rate altogether. I've spent the latter half of my life hiding my identity, guarding my secret, but now I'm faced with an event. Did anybody else see that? Or did I... Was I crazy? Did the book just freak out? Or did I go crazy? No? Okay. Greater challenge for if word were to get out that I have fallen in love with a servant and an orc no less, I'd be all but ruined. Such is the life of the Cyrodiilic nobleman. Entry 3. Curse me for a coward, but I have not yet found the strength to tell my beloved looked of the truth. Perhaps it's for the best, for what benefit is there in her knowing? She would share all my fears, but none of my abilities. Her life would become one of doubt and uncertainty. Still, if she is to spend her remaining mortal days with me, she has the right to know the truth. Entry 4. Joy and exhalation. Ex exhal the He's very happy. She was with child. My beloved Luckdove is carrying my child. The midwives predict a boy, and we've already settled on the name Ag Agronac. Ugh. In truth, I never realized such miracles were even possible, but the divines have granted us their blessings. And so shall it be. I must wonder, of course, if my dear child will share in my dark dift. <laughs> my dark dift? Only time will tell. God, man, you write a bunch. Damn. Could you could you just put this in like a a voice? <laughs> Dark diff. <laughs> can you just put this in a voice message? Damn. Entry 5. T 
Tonight the truth will be revealed. I will tell my beloved luck dove everything. She will know who and what I am, and we will decide how best to raise the precious child that grows in her womb. Entry 6. Betrayal! Foul and loathsome harlot! How dare luck dove question my motive, question the love I have for my own unborn child. When she learned the truth, that I, the Lord Leviticus, am no longer human, that I have walked Tamriel as a vampire for the past 200 years, how quickly she judged me. So, I am a monster, am I? Perhaps I should have proven her right. Perhaps I should have drained her dry when I had the chance. But I loved her as deeply as a man has ever loved a woman. And I wanted nothing more than br to bring our baby into this world and embrace my new role as father. Perhaps when Luck Dove has come to her senses, for she refuses to come out of her room, we can have a rational discourse <laughs> about our future. If I know anything about discourse, it's never rational. I do not, however, retain much hope. Entry 7. Imprisoned! That should just be... If I had a, wi a wiki entry, it's going to be this. Entry 7. Imprisoned. Imprisoned in my own home while I slept. Lucked to have locked me in my own private chambers. She called to me through the doors, told me of her plan to escape with her unborn child. She means to keep my baby from me. My baby! Not my baby! Where was I? When I get free, I'll find the traitorous- I'm not saying that word. I don't like it. I'm sorry. And rip the child from her very room. Bit You're gonna kill your baby. That's not smart. Entry 8. Two weeks. Two weeks have passed since luck to have locked me in my quarters. Try as I might, I cannot free myself. I cannot breach the doors. If I don't feed soon, I, will f I feel I will go mad. Entry 9. Disaster. Food, blood, 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 I need it, I need <laughs> blood, I need blood. Do you know, it's like that episode of Spongebob when he visited Sandy and uh, wasn't wearing his little water helmet and, you know, he's like, I don't need it, I don't need it. It's like that. And then entry 10 is, uh, th th this bitch crazy. I want to take that, actually. Can I take this? How do I take? Oh, uh, take. I don't need it. <laughs> I discovered the journal of the Lord Leviticus. It does indeed contain information about Agronach Gromalog's birth, but proves he was the spawn of a vampire. Agronach won't be happy to hear this, but it is a proof he wanted. I must take the journal to him at the Imperial City Arena Bloodworks. I need it! How do I get down from here again? I mean... I kind of feel bad for Lord Leviticus a little bit. Like, I mean, maybe you should have told her sooner before she was pregnant. Maybe. That might have been smart. I mean, I also understood his fear. He's a vampire. He, she could have been like, fuck you, and then kill him or something like that. But at the same time, like... How is she, she going to react any better when, like, she's pregnant now and she doesn't know if her baby's also going to be a vampire? Or, like, what his true intentions were. To be fair. I mean, still kind of a dick move on her part, but... Personally. But if I know anything about discourse, it's never rational. Maybe they should have just talked it out. You know? I guess, you know, if you love somebody, you, you, you'll you talk it out. I think I'm just getting lost. Oh no, I found it. Yeah, you know, honestly, she, she should, they probably should at least talk it out a little bit. I don't know. That's my take. That's my hot take on the matter. Take it as you will. Alright, let us go back to... Oh, I'm lost in the map. There we go. The arena. Let us move on. And he should still be here. Ooh. I always... <laughs> Every time I walk in there, I... get confused by that poster. You've returned. So, have you been to Crowhaven? Have you... What's this? The Journal of Lord Leviticus? My friend, you've done it! This is wonderful news. 
the words of Lord Leviticus mm, himself. I don't Perfect. know about that one. Ah, I believe I owe you something, eh? Here, let me show you these moves. Step like this. Now strike. All right, now parry. That's it. There you are. Some of the best combat moves you'll ever learn. Thanks. You'll need them if you want to last more than five seconds against well, me in the arena. About that one. Now, let's see what this journal says. Huh. Ah, interesting. But I, I wait. Can this be? But by Shinji, I'm the son of a vampire. Yep. Sure. I'm no great prince. I'm the spawn of evil. I thought my father was a nobleman, not some blood-sucking monster. I can't... I can't... Uh, all a lie. A lie. But I don't know, but being a half-vampire is pretty sick, in my opinion. I wouldn't be upset. That would be like, oh, sick. I'm like half-vampire. Awesome. Okay, we're gonna switch to Pokemon Coliseum, so if anybody wants to stick around for that. That's what we're gonna be doing. Oh, God, no. God, no. Well, maybe. Maybe once we do Dark, Dark Brotherhood, we might, but ugh. God, no. Alright, we're gonna be switching We're switching to uh, Pokemon Coliseum once this closes out. So, hold on. Give me a second while I bring up my totally legit um, GameCube. Like, 100% legit. Da, da, da. Then you'll see it sucks. But it's probably really loud. I'll turn it down here in a second. Pokemon. Why? Oh. Pokemon. Hello. See ya. Reported. Oh, it's really loud. Ooh, it's really loud on my end, too. Okay, okay, okay. Alright, everybody, hold your horses. We're gonna- we're getting there. How's the audio? Too loud? Too quiet? Am I too loud? Am I too obnoxious? Too, too uh, amazing? Fine. Cool. Let me just fix that. There we go. Okay. So we're gonna try this again today. It's definitely not. It's we're definitely gonna get further in this than we did last time. Oh, I love this game. Oh, I have to turn it up for myself. God damn it. Oh, I love this. I love this menu music, man. Yes. Right, let me know if it if I get too loud, if the game gets too loud. Uh I'm going to name uh, a cooler name than Wes. Wes is. I'm sorry for anybody who has a name Wes. It's it's not a cool name. Whoa. Yes. All right. Let's watch this again.
Amazing. Beautiful. Now you get to hear me read, like, this whole time. That's gonna be great. We already know I can't read. Look, a sack. There's something squirming in the sack. Disgusting. Fwah! We sure picked out, eh? I love chowing down after a job. Adds the flavor, I swear. <laughs> it's gonna sound like George Bush <laughs> Jr. <Judy. laughs> yeah, and we bagged ourselves a great big catch, too. Bosch will be sure to fix us up good with the big rewards, too. I'm not doing the laughing, I'm sorry. Doesn't get any better than this. I like that dude with the, uh, the orange puff vest. I like his, uh, his hairstyle. It's pretty cool. Wish my hair looked like that. Authorities have made a stunning announcement on the mysterious building that exploded in Echo Canyon. It was Team Snagum's hideout. Team Snagum is a gang of Pokemon abductors who have already been marked for arrest. The hideout was discovered only as a result of the explosion. By the time police arrived, the ruined building had already been abandoned. The cause of the explosion is under investigation. It should become apparent eventually. <laughs> you know, eventually. Eventually you'll figure it out. Hey, do you know about Team Snagum? Uh, no. They're a bunch of heartless, heartless crooks. Wow, it sounded like I said cooks. Crooks. They rip off Pokemon from trainers without any hesitation. I heard they use something called a snag ball to catch Pokemon from their rightful trainer in battle. I'm guessing that you're a trainer. You'd best be careful. Oh, I haven't seen your face around these parts. A traveler, huh? Not that it matters any. I don't know where you might have come from, but relax. Stick around a while. You know, I don't quite understand what happened, but having your hideout blow up on you? Crime doesn't pay, I guess. I live a crime-free life, so that thing's gonna blow up on me. <laughs> I don't know about that one. <laughs> Careful. There's no forgiving that team Snagum. They don't deserve it. Not when they steal... There's no forgiving that team snap. They don't deserve it. Oh, like for forgiveness. They don't deserve it. Not when they steal Pokemon from trainers. Why, I'd give a hip hip hooray if they are wiped out with their wrecked, wrecked hideout. Wrecked. Sure. You're a Pokemon trainer too, aren't you? Yep. Heh. <laughs> I can tell. And you're good. I can see it in your eyes. I bet your Pokemon are impressive too. If the opportunity ever arises, I'd like to have a battle with you. Heh. <laughs> Though I doubt I'd have any chance of beating you. Sir, how do you know that? Don't put yourself down. You don't know that. You might kick my ass. That's kind of, you know, mean on your part to assume that you wouldn't. I'm gonna turn up just a little bit. Yo! Wait! Wait up! Wait up, it's too loud. Hey, my name's Willie. <laughs> Willie. After I got a good look at you, well, I got this urge to battle you. It's like I'm compelled to. Any anyway, look at it. It's obvious that you're no ordinary Joe. So what do you say? Let's you and me have a quick battle. Sure. Yeah! That's a spirit. Alright, alright. Over here this way. Wow, that... That was a bad line read. Yeah! I'm burning now! I'm on fire! It's full throttle time! Weirdo. Vroom! Vroom! Let's roll! Autobots roll out! The music in this game is also really good. I mean, I think it is.
I always thought um, the protagonist in this game was always like one of the coolest looking protagonists, in my opinion. I always thought he just looked so cool. Get fucking wrecked. Get wrecked. To think, this was like, besides Pokemon Stadium, this was like, well actually, this was like the first full, like, Pokemon-like Pokemon game. Like, 3D one, I mean. Before we got, um, what was the first one? Alpha Ruba, Ruba, bleh, bleh, bleh. Alpha Ruby and, uh, or is it Alpha Sapphire and Mega Ruby? Mega Ruby. It's that one. Because those were the first like 3D, 3D ones, right? If I remember correctly. There might have been some other ones. That's right, you got your ass kicked even though you said you would, which again, you probably shouldn't have said that. Wiped out. I still need seasoning. <laughs> what? Are you like a roast or something? But yeah, you're tough. Real tough. You had a real number on us. Hey, I know. Why not test your skills in Fanic City? Fanic? Panic? It's out west of here. You'll find trainers who are way better than me there. You should go out there and get some battling in. Uh, sure. Well, can I go in here and talk to these people or no? Listen, pal, if you're intending to travel some more, you might want to stock up on supplies here. Mm, no, I don't want anything. No, thank you. I don't need anything from you. Let's hop on our sick motorcycle and uh, roll out. Fanic City, a gorgeous jewel of a town that overflows with water in a forbid forbidding desert? Okay. Oh, look at the little sidecar for his little Pokemon, for, his, for Umbreon and Espeon. That's so adorable. This town, oh, it still looks so good. It just, I don't know. It just, it hits. It hits different. Hey, what are you doing? Get a grip, man. Yeah, you say that, but this, it won't stop squirming. It makes it tough to hold on. Okay, okay. Settle down in there. Just be quiet for a little while longer. Help! Someone let me out! Kidnappers! That tape didn't keep her yap shut. Hey, quit your shouting. Oh, drat. Did that punk there hear all that? And then they just fucking drop her. <laughs> Since you overheard us, we don't have any choice. Blame it on your own bad luck. Shady guy. <laughs> Holy. Oh, sorry. Though You can't do double battles yet. And this... I played this game so much that this music is like ingrained into my soul. No joke. I actually got this in my GameCube for Easter? Weirdly enough, my aunt, who I don't talk to anymore, not because I don't like her or anything, she just doesn't keep in contact, but that's a different story. She got me this for Easter? Which really fucked up my, like, idea of what you're supposed to get for Easter. It, it, it was really weird. I got this and Super Mario Sunshine. Which we will probably be playing on stream as well at some point. Oh, 
Yay! Level up. I remember as a kid, um, I would always get annoyed that I couldn't have Umbreon and Espeon at like the same level. I don't know why, that always irked me as a kid. Gah! You're tougher than you look! Thanks, I guess. You took out my Wishmer! You're no ordinary trainer, are you? Huh? Wait a sec. That face! Might you be... Team Snagums? What? What? What's going on out here? Eek! Somebody! Robbers! They're robbers! You, you be quiet. We're not robbers. We're kidnappers. Get it? Kidnappers. What? You dingbat. Don't shoot off your mouth. Don't get all happy just on account of winning this once. The next time we meet, I'll trash you, your Pokemon, and all. Uh, I think that's a threat, and I don't think that's very nice of you to threaten me like that. Oh, yuck. There's someone inside there. Gah. This is tied good and tight. Can you believe those people? What a horrible thing to do. Oh, I have to go in and tie it. The sack's mouth is firmly closed with a tightly knotted rope. Undo the knot? Nah. <laughs> of course I will. Vice tugged hard on the tightly knotted rope. The knot gradually loosened. Vice undid the knot, keeping the sack's mouth closed. And would you know it, it was a girl. Phew! Thank goodness I'm saved. I guess that would be more like, Phew, thank goodness I'm saved. Where is this? Where do those two bring me? This is Fanic City. Or Panic City? Panic City? The opulent city of water. This person saved you from those thugs. The way he battled those goons, it was truly superb. I wish you could have seen it. Oh, is that so? Thank you. And, uh, you are? Oh, so you're named Vice. I am... You are... Rui. Rui? An Anka? Yuki. I'm doing Yuki. Which I guess the way I, I spelled out my name is probably bad. My name's Yuki. I'm sure glad I met you. I was in a neighboring town when those two grabbed me. Oh! Those guys, did they use a pe peculiar Pokemon? A peculiar Pokemon? No, they look ordinary to me. What do you mean by peculiar Pokemon? Oh. No. No, that's fine then. Well, it's easy to see something's on your mind. You should go see our mayor for his advice. He's a very kindly person. I'm sure that he'll be able to help you somehow. The mayor's house is near the Fountain Square, past here. Go up the stairs from the square and it's on your left. The mayor? Yes, that's true. The mayor might know something. Why would the mayor know anything? Like, logically? Hey, Vice. I know I'm imposing, but I don't have anyone else that I can turn to. Please, can I get you to es escort me for a while? Sure. Whatever. Thank you, Vice. <laughs> I thought you might say that. If you're with me, Vice, it won't matter if those guys come back again. Thank you. Thanks for joining me for a while. That's right, because I'll beat the shit out of them. <laughs> I'm just kidding. This this is a non-violent, uh, family-friendly uh, Christian stream. <laughs> how -ha -ha -ho -ha. <laughs> Amazing. I didn't like the second one as much as I liked the first. Uh, Pokemon Coliseum. I played both of them and I, I actually physically own both of them, but I definitely played the first one way more than the second one. I don't know. I mean, the second one's not bad. 
but it just doesn't have the same feel as the first one. I don't know. They definitely should make another one though. I would for sure buy it. So we're gonna go to the mayor's. Oh my god, this dude. This dude, as a kid, I thought this dude was like really hot. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck I was on. But yeah, I thought he was like super cool. Hmm? I guess you're, I'd guess you're a traveling trainer. Hmm. I like what I see in your expression. Foo foo foo. How would you even say that? I have a feeling I may see you again somewhere. Y yep. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. This music. Ah, you must be travelers. Welcome to Fanic. Panic. Panic City. I'm S. Escad? Escad. Escade? Escade. Escade. I think it's Escade. The mayor. Now you wanted to see me. How did you know that? Did we come in and tell you that or did you just know? Now you wanted to see me. Is there something that I may be able to assist with you with? Assist you with you, you? Um, er. Oh? What may I, may I do for a pretty young lady like you? I, I saw it. Saw it? And what did you see? I saw a peculiar Pokemon. No, that's not quite right. What I saw was a Pokemon that gave off a black aura. It was like a fighting machine. And that Pokemon would attack people. Uh, 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 oh my! <laughs> Pokemon like a fighting machine and it attacks people? Now, if that were true, that would be truly frightening. However, it is a little hard to believe. It's true! It's true, Mr. Mayor. He gave us his name. Why are you calling Mr. Mayor? Because I saw that Pokemon. I was made the prisoner for some frightening men until just a little while ago. Hmm. I see. I understand. I'll order an, inve an investigation at once. You will? Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Oh. No, no. There's no need for thanks. We mustn't allow thugs to do as they wish. Especially thugs that endanger a pretty young lady like you. Gross. I'll ask that you give me a little time on this matter. I promise we'll get some useful information for you. Oh yes. You appear to be Pokemon trainers yourself. If so, I urge you to visit our city's pride and joy, our Pokemon Stadium. It's a breathtakingly beautiful stadium befitting our oasis city. Okay. Thanks, I guess. I'll go do that. That large house is the mayor's home. If something concerns you while you're traveling, you should visit the mayor for his advice. Who does that? Like, re like realistically. Alright. I think I'm pretty sure I have to battle. Hi, welcome to Pre-Gym. This is a place for trainers and Pokemon to not only sharpen their strength and skills, but also their body and spirit. Hello, I'm Justy. I'm in charge of running the Pre-Gym. Judging by your appearance, I'd say that you're traveling the two, the two of you. Well, what do you think? Since you've already, you're already here, do you feel like having a battle? Sure. Okay, then let me introduce you to the trainers of pre gym When you're ready to go, go to the battle area in the center and send to the left-hand side. I think... I could not figure this out. I was fucking... Well, I was... Yeah. Vice, go for it. I'll be right here cheering. Like sh looks like you're ready. Well, let's get this started. In all, you'll be facing four trainers. They're all a handful. I can vouch for that. And now, this is where your opponent enters. Oof, his face? Ooh. Ooh. Do you feel like taking on some grass-type Pokemon? Then I'm the one you want. His face did not look right there for a second. Ch -ch -ch. 
this music's so good. It brings me back to like playing this, like, I don't know, like on, on a cold morning or something. I don't know why. Or like late at night when I wasn't supposed to be playing. <laughs> Actually, I'm gonna do this. <sighs> Fight him, Umbreon! Fight him until he's dead! Trainer Botan. I did not even read what his dialogue was. I was too busy trying to figure out how to pronounce his name. It's like, it's, it's Botan, right? Not Botan. Not Botan, like, from Yu Yu Hakusho, right? Maybe it is Botan. Huh. I'm gonna toughen up some more. I hope you keep working, too. music so good. I can't wait to get to that one um, uh, Myra B or whatever. Oh, his music's so great. Oh, can't wait. I can't wait. Leave water type battling to me. I'll teach you just how strong the water type can be. Okay. Lee, Lee Q? Lee... I'll go with names. Or usernames either. This should be pretty easy. We should be able to breeze through this and then fight the um, stadium. Or the Coliseum or the whatever. I remember correctly, the first one's pretty easy. I remember uh, I had to grind for, I think, probably the last one. I can't remember. I think it was the last one. It's been so long since I played this game. I might end up, like, zoning out just because, like, I'm listening to the music and just kind of... I'm just happy to be here. <laughs> Come on, baby. Come on. Yeah, you could do it. Okay, we just need Umbreon to, to bite it. We don't really need... Espeon to do- oh well, Espeon's gonna go first, so it doesn't matter. Well, he, he can level up, so that's okay. He needs those levels. Baby needs some levels! Yay, he's level 26! Baby! I was impressed by your Pokémon! I, I wish I could go out and fight Pokemon and get all that money. My goal is to become the ultimate water type battler. Back to more training for me! Yes. I can't remember how many trainers that you fight. Three or four? Look at this fancy boy. Is it you? Do you want to battle me? You don't look like a trainer. Well, it doesn't matter. You can learn how a proper trainer battles from me. Damn, okay, kid. Rich boy Duggo. Dugo? Duggo. Dugo? 
trap inch and swine up. You know, I've never actually pronounced a lot of the Pokemon names out loud before. Switch off. We're going to bite that swine up and confusion the trap and on its back. It's so adorable. Baby. It's like a baby. I do like how uh, the main protag like stands when he's battling. It looks so cool. I would love to get a figure of him. If like uh, Nintendo or the Pokemon Con, a uh, Game Freak, would ever sell uh, a figure of him, I'd fucking buy it, like 100%. No questions asked. The way you battle is uh, interesting. You might say it's unique, or maybe it's just chaotic. You know, every time someone describes me, it's definitely chaotic. Well, I wish you the best of luck. Yep, keep on chugging along. Can't remember how many trainers you battle. Four or five, maybe? Then you fight Justy. Your challenge is accepted. I do hope you're ready. Lady Gwyn. That's not a bad name. Gwyn? I like it, I think. Geodude and Rhyhorn. I will say that from the front, um, Umbreon's model looks a little derpy. <laughs> I will say that. Espeon looks pretty good though. <gasps> Ooh, nice. Good job, Espeon. Knew you could do it. I believe in you this whole time. Umbreon, that was a good, good try. No, baby. No, it's fine. Es Espeon will finish this. I must commend you for a battle well played. She looks like she's crying. That's sad. I don't want to make people cry. My battling style must have been too sophisticated for you. What? I killed you. What are you talking about? What do you mean? <laughs> okay, whatever. Whatever you say. I like how they walk. Whoa, that was inspiring. You showed me a great battle. It deserves a gift. I want you to have this. I got a white herb. You don't have a full party of Pokemon yet. When you get six of them, I'd like you to come see me again. That's when I will be your opponent. I'll be looking forward to it. I kept thinking Justy was a girl. I don't know why, but I kept thinking she, he was a girl from like behind. But that's okay. I like them either way. It's pretty sick back down here. What? This is so cool. Oh, no, 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 no. Not like that. Like this. Try again. Nazo, Nazo, 
Nazo Nazaon. <laughs> oh my god. That's it. Yes. Splash. Way to go. Uh, Splash will not do anything, ma'am. This is a training center. It has a variety of terrain, so any kind of Pokemon can train where they're most comfortable. It looks really fucking cool. Uh, hey. What did it dig to? Where'd my sand slash go? Come on, boy. Come on out. Please. It looks really cool down here. Not gonna lie. We should have enough time to... Um, I don't know. We might be able to do the stadium in this town, if I remember correctly. You're able to. That or we have to go somewhere else first. Can't remember. But I'm probably only going to do this for another half hour. And then call it. So I want to at least do the Colosseum, or one of them anyways. Let's go see if we can fight in the stadium, coliseum, whatever you want to call it. Hi, did you know? No. They said that Team Snagum's hideout was blown up. Who could have done such a thing? Me. I did it. <laughs> I just love this town because of all, I don't know, all the water. And then the water sounds, it's just so soothing. Like just standing here, it's so nice. Isn't the city stadium amazing? Oh, I wish I could soon battle at a stadium as fabulous as this one. Hi, are you here to take part in the challenge too? Yes. Oh yeah? Well, me too. I came here hoping to participate in the challenge, but I was disappointed by the time I arrived the challenge had already started. I wanted to win this knockout challenge. I would have liked to win the cash prize and the technical machine, or TM for short. Okay, so we can't... Welcome to Fanic City, Panic City, Panic City, Fanic City Stadium. This is where we register trainers for challenges. However, the current challenge has already started. So we are no longer accepting trainers for this challenge. Please come back and enter the next challenge. Okay. So now we have to go do something else. Go somewhere else. There we go. Hey, Vice, we finally found you. You filthy double-crossing traitor. I reckon the hideout wasn't good enough for you, so you ripped off the snag machine? You got some nerve. Who are these people? Huh? Are they team snag them? And what do they mean by traitor? <laughs> Vice. You mean... That's right, pretty lady. He's some team snag him, just like us. But he's no ordinate member. He's a snagger. He's the best in team snag -ma. At snagging Pokemon without fail. No way. Is it true, Vice? Uh, no. <laughs> Oh, you gritted your teeth, didn't you? Didn't you? <laughs> then it must be true. That's a little shocking. Hey, Vice. Come on. Hand it over. Give back the snag machine you ripped off from the hideout. Snag machine? Vice, do you really have something like that? The snag, snag machine's built for trainers. When a trainer puts a snag machine on, their Pokeballs are converted. Ordinary Pokeballs are turned into snag balls that can steal Pokemon from their trainers in battle. Thank you for giving me this whole rundown of this machine. Hey, you blabbermouth. Keep that stuff secret. I get it, Vice. That's why these creeps are chasing after you. Creeps? What do you mean by creeps? Gah, this is getting us nowhere. If 
you won't give it up willingly, we'll take it back by force. Okay, I'll kick your ass too, you weirdo, bald-headed, creepy person. Poor fish and coughing. We'll at least get to the next town. Use vice grip. I don't know why I thought that was funny. Do I have to fight all three of them? I think I do. That's kind of annoying. Walk walking. Like Christopher Walken. <laughs> that was funny. You have to admit, that was a little funny. Blast you, Vice. Don't think this is over. We're gonna get that stag machine back. Just you wait. Oh, let's do one. That's nice. Well, what do you know, Vice? So you're from Team Snagum. Alright, to be accurate, I should say former Team Snagum. It's okay, Vice. Doesn't matter to me who you are. After all, you're my gallant prince who rescued me when I was in trouble. So it doesn't matter. Besides, I thought up something after I th yeah, I thought up something after listening to those creeps. Listen, Vice, we should go shopping for some Pokeballs. Okay. Sure, I guess. Oh yeah, that's right. I remember why. I think we have to go back to that diner car. I don't have Pokemon of my own yet, but I come here every day. They have all sorts of Pokemon merchandise here. It's fun just to look, even. Huh? Pokeballs? Come to think of it, I haven't seen any being sold in this town. Oh wait, I think I heard someone saying that they sell Pokeballs at the outskirts stand. It's east from here. Fanic, panic, fanic city. It's modeled after a locomotive, so you won't have any trouble finding it, I think. I didn't want to talk to you. You don't sell Pokeballs. Ah, boo. I keep getting figures that I don't want. Darn. The one I want's under the cap- uh, the one I want under that capsule. Do you bet I can't- <laughs> I want- I want to gamble my money. What do you mean I can't get stupid virtual capsule- collectibles. I want to do that. An antidote cures a poisoning. Paralyze heal cures paralysis. An awakening wakes a Pokemon from sleep. But if your Pokemon falls asleep in battle, just call out its name. That'll wake it up. It doesn't get cheaper than free. You know what these look like? These cans? They kind of look like uh, Pokemon branded um, tomato soup. The Campbell's tomato soup? That's what these look like. <laughs> Okay, get out of my way, everybody. Beep beep. Beep beep. No one sells Pokeballs around these parts. That's common knowledge. The guy that runs that outskirt stand used to sell them before, but you have to keep that a secret. Shh. It's a secret. Alright, let's go buy some Pokeballs. And then I think we end up fighting and we catch our first shadow Pokemon. Outskirts stand. A lonely gasoline stand in a desolate desert. Travelers visit it on their journeys. Where did my Pokemon go? Girl, where did my Pokemon go? You telling me we had to put them back in our Pokeballs? Rude. Listen, yeah, 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 yeah. Hi, can I ask you something? Didn't you sell any Pokeballs? Huh? Pokeballs, you say? 
There's no call for these things around these parts. Where'd I put them now? Oh yeah, here they are. A little dusty, I'm afraid, but otherwise perfectly usable. Here, take these. I'll let you have them for free. Sick. Five Pokeballs. Well, since I found them, I may just as well put them out with the rest of my merchandise. If you need some more, well, how about buying them for me? <laughs> uh, I think I'll be good. Well, I can buy a couple. I'll buy three great, bra great balls. And I'll buy a couple more Pokeballs. Because I have the money. <laughs> And then, do we just leave? And then do we go back? Yes. Oh, it's you two. Something terrible is happening. A whole lot of scary men came here. I think I even saw those two creeps who took off in the truck earlier. Where? You where? Where'd they go? So they go up to the mayor's house? Is that what they did? My goodness, it's terrible! A big group of shady looking men marched to the mayor's house! Yes, they did. <gasps> there he is! There's my boy! Master, is it Myroy? Meyer? My. Mirror B. Let me just. Let me just Google translate this. I want to hear it. My roar. Mirror. Mir well, that's in Latin. Apparently it means wonder. <laughs> so really you could call him Wonder B. It's, it's him. He's the one that took the girl from us. There he is. Oh, now aren't you boys frightfully pathetic? You mean to tell me you were bested by these darling infants? Darling, did you say your name was Vice or something? I so don't like saying this, but we're not living to keep your lady friend at liberty. That sweet young thing, she can say things that ordinary people aren't supposed to see. That just will not do for what we're planning to do. No, it just won't do at all. If you don't like pain, like most people, you can avoid the pain by keeping your nose out of places it needn't be. Boys! Oh, boys! Yes. Yes, we will. Will what? <laughs> boys, I will make my return to Pyrite now. Oh, Pyrite. You know, like the... The, uh... The rock. Do you remember that I will be waiting- Do you remember that I'll be waiting for you to return with the little lady? Let me make myself clear. I won't accept failure from you again, boys. I'm not doing the laugh. Let this music spin. Let's get it on. Ooh, that's, that's the best music. Oh, I love this music. The best. The best. You, you, you. You, you, yeah, you, you, you. The last time you caught me off guard, that's not gonna happen again. Yes, it will. Myror B. Or we just say Wonder B. Wishmer and Lotad. I'm pretty sure Wishmer is the shadow Pokemon. So. I don't know if she's gonna be like the Wishmer, it's a shadow Pokemon or what, but I just don't wanna kill it right away just in case so I can catch it. Or maybe not, I don't know. I figured one of these, one of them had a shadow Pokemon. But I guess not. Or maybe it's the other guy. Do 
Ah, blast it. I got tripped up again. I think it might be him that has it. My turn now. I'm not going to end up like Foley. Or Foley, if you want to call him that. Trudley. Or Trudley. Trudley? Trudley. Dust Skull and Spinarak. Maybe not. I don't know. I don't know. I can't remember. Oh yeah, it's definitely this one. Vice, it's that one. That Pokemon. Those jerks captured me because I saw that Pokemon. I can see a black aura coming from it. They must have done something to that Pokemon. Pokemon, how many times can I say Pokemon? Vice, be careful. This Pokemon isn't afraid to attack people. I know, Vice. I hate to say this, but there's no other choice. Get that Pokemon back from the bad guys. Please, you have to. You can. You can. Actually, only you can do it. Alright. I got this. I'm gonna catch it. Like, first try. I'm gonna have... Level 30. God damn. God damn. God damn. <gasps> I knew it. I knew that was gonna happen. Fuck. I think we have another chance. We have, I think we have multiple chances to get him. But, whoops! Oops, I killed it. <laughs> Damn it. What? What? My Pokemon! And I, I'm not... I'm not gonna go back and try and do that again. <laughs> Darn it. But you're good. You knocked out my Pokemon. Hey, what are you saying? You're not supposed to be impressed. Oh, man. What are we supposed to do? We got flattened again. Myra B's gonna chew us out. What do we do? What is there to do? Run away! Oh, it's disappointing that we couldn't snag that Pokemon off them. But I'm sure there are others like it. Let's get all of them back from the bad guys. Where's the mayor? Oh, hi! Aren't you... <laughs> Aren't you a cute guy? It must be nice to travel with a cute girlfriend. Why are you up here, lady? Are you like his wife or something? That's fucking weird. Where did the mayor go? That's suspicious. Oh, we're gonna have to like fight them, I think. Save and heal up. What? What? Is something serious going on? Well, yeah, something like that. We'll heal up. We'll probably do one more battle and then call it. Because I'm pretty sure... We can't leave. We have to like fight these Power Ranger looking. Sorry to break it to you, but I'm not about to let you pass. Or do you have this idea that you can take me in a battle? Yep. Wahaha! Who's going to beat? Who's going to beat me? You are. Don't be crying out of regret later. Yeah, we'll do one battle and then call it. Mystery Trooper Bluno. <laughs> Fuck. Wait. I just realized that their names are probably going to be their colors. Bluno. Hi, this is my son Bluno. Mm. Beautiful. Pretty sure the Crocona. Yep. Alright, we're gonna try and, and crack and, and catch the Crocona. Crocona. Come to me, Crocona. Probably should have saved. 
but yeah, Espeon's too, too powerful. Spoink! Spoink! Alright, yeah, so we're gonna need to use Umbreon for Croconaw or else he's dying. Ooh! Ooh! Do I have any healing items? Well, I'll worry about that later. We'll get rid of Spoink first. Oh! Damn! Okay. Fuck. Should have seen that coming. Just a little bit more and then we can catch him. Ooh, hell yeah! Flinched! Fuck yeah! Oh, that's not good. God, fuck you! So we're gonna have to use secret power, which is not all that, um, powerful. We'll use potion. Just in case. Ooh, okay. I'm gonna try and catch it. That might be good enough. I didn't do nothing. That did a lot. <laughs> okay. Well, I would like to... I'm gonna bite a spoink. And then I want to... I'm gonna use a great ball on Croconaw because I want Croconaw. Like right now. I want him in my party. Come on, Croconaw. Yeah! That's right. I like Bluno's face. He's very upset. <sighs> Oof. If I could make a modes, I would. <laughs> I don't know why, but I want. I just want an emote of Bluno's unhappy face. That's what I want. I mean, I might be able to. I don't see how hard it could be, right? Whenever that'll <laughs> happen. Whenever I'll need emotes, which probably will not be anytime soon. You, you, you're tough. Trudley and Foley can't be blamed for this. For whatever that last word was. I didn't read it. What was that strange Pokemon? What did you people do to it? That? It's a Pokemon that we turn into a fighting machine by artificially closing the door to its heart. That's right, people. It's all about love and friendship. No, you didn't. You artificially closed the door to that poor Pokemon's heart? <laughs> Knowing that's not going to help you do anything. I know. When I was little, I heard about that. They say that if any Pokemon closes the door to its heart, it can be gradually reopened by battling together with it. Vice, let's go. Those guys are probably headed for Pyrite Town. After all, it was in Pyrite that they captured me. Okay, well, we're gonna do that next stream. Next stream. We've hit the three hour mark, and that's typically as far as I go. Unless I'm feeling particularly... I don't know. Energetic. Alright. That's it for my stream. I will probably be probably be streaming. Um, what's today? Monday. There's. I might be streaming. I might be streaming Thursday. We will probably end up playing more Pokemon uh, Coliseum and something else. I don't know. Whatever strikes my fancy. But thanks for watching. I appreciate it. All who stopped by, all who followed, all who, I don't know, <laughs> hung out. Um, I'll see you guys hopefully Thursday night. I might end up streaming sometime during the day. We'll see. But uh, that's it for me. Good night.